But, okay, here we go. I, s I think, all right, Battlefield. Battlefield. That is a interesting pick because yeah. Pikachu has so much mobility against a character like DK. Yeah, this is def, well, I was gonna say that this isn't a, a PK spark choice, but this has to be high speed Daiki Kang. Because if it was a uh, S1 peak for life choice, we'd have gone to Smashville. <laughs> yeah, Unless probably. But um, not a good start for S1 here, as he has already racked up 88 percentage. Yeah. But he still made it back on stage, and now oh. Pika Spark has the uh, stage control. Ooh. Some, yeah, it's just some stray hits hitting each other everywhere, basically. Yeah. People it, getting so. Oh. It's basically round one doubles. Everyone's it's, waking it's, up. It's round two, though. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Now already, both DKs are Ooh. very high percentage, and he just lets that wind-up punch Ooh. go. Was that random or was that a read? Oh, he went for the stage bike there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Danky Kang is really, really crisp when it comes to that. He has lapped a lot of stuff. Like, he might not seem the player that does that, but he actually does. I've talked about it with him a lot. <laughs> and, man, S1 with these call-outs. Just F-smashes, giant punches. Yeah, right. He grabs. <laughs> that's uh, that's the problem. S1 is better than all three of these players on a fundamental level. Oh yeah. So just take take a character where like all you have to do is get a good read and you can kill him at like 80. Yeah. That that suddenly becomes a huge problem. Yeah. Oh wow, the double thunder off stage. Oh, and he just quick attacks right into that charge shot. Not something that Pika Fly really would want. And now it seems like Kaisberg is almost... Oh, wow, he actually fell out of the AB. How did that oh. happen? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, Kaisberg has to be mad about that. Yeah. I think I actually heard him exclaim, like, what? Yeah, I saw him <laughs> exclaim. He actually went... He actually reeled back. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes Samus is so janky. Here we go. S1 is getting juggled. But he makes it out of there because Danke Kang missed the follow-up. Oh, and that's a hefty percent. On the game from a teammate. Perfect well, shield that side. Yeah. Oh wow! But he's and not dead yet. Yeah, didn't kill, but that should kill. Yeah, yeah. there we go. That almost didn't. A very good pickup from Danky Kang there. Oh, and he oh gets a regrab. Here we go, boys. Oh, that Winning so with DK.com. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> I can't remember where I saw that before. I think um, uh, I think Larry Lerr might have done that to Mr. R in the past. Okay. Just like waiting for the Edo tree. Mewtwo King. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Mewtwo yeah, yeah, King yeah. dead out in town and city. Yeah. That's right. Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> 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 but I've played with uh, S1's DK a bit and. Uh, he does that stuff a lot, so... Oh yeah, you practice with this one. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really surprised by that anymore. <laughs> oh, Heisberg went for the spike, but just barely that Uppy. Uh, but Uppy is actually a really good combo break, as you saw right there. Ooh. And both Danke Kang and Heisberg at easy kill percentage right now. Oh, but a great oh. pickup there, American Sniper. Ooh. <laughs> that shield is looking mighty thin. Yeah, bro. Oh, that should be it. Oh, no, but he whiffs entirely. <laughs> very good kill. And another good kill from Pika for Life. Oh, that that's going to be the first game. That was a very nice ending there. That was way closer than it should have been. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> thinking, opinion. like, no hate to the Utrecht crew, but I was expecting S1 and Pika for Life to just sweep. Yeah, but, I mean... S1 is not playing Ness or Cloud at No, the exactly. Moment, I was so. thinking that, but at the same time, he's got a DK. That's true, but they his DK is purely bred for singles. Yeah, true. Definitely, they haven't practiced doubles with it. I've never seen him play doubles. No. Like that. Me like neither. This. But here we go. Battlefield again. The run back coming from Geisbeer and Danke Kang. Yeah, they're confident. Yeah, I mean, it didn't go bad for them at all, that, no, that they, first game. They took it to last stop per character. Yeah. Oh, a very good combo breaker there from Kaisbeer, saving his teammate from potential health. Pico for Life has both opponents off stage, but he gets back ahead, and now he has the upbeat in his face. That, he took a hefty amount of damage for that. 
<laughs> that would be so dumb from Donkey Kong. Man. Nah, it's so good. Yeah, it is, it is good, but it's dumb. <laughs> nah. Just like the cargo throw. It's calculated. Very calculated. <laughs> oh, wow. Throw it out, it does the calculations for you. Oops. Now both members of PK Spark are off stage, but... Pika Flyer not helping out his teammate on the ledge there, but S1 makes his way back, just powering through everything Kaisbury had with one of B there. Yeah. And able to punish that death stack from Samus, and now both phone again off stage. Oh, Kaisbury just missing everything with that up tilt. Oh, no. What are you doing? Kaisbury, please. And, and then he's shot the wrong way! No, he his team. Ooh. No! They're Why? in your head! They're in his head! <laughs> <laughs> Guys here, what They're are you playing doing? him inside and out. Yeah. Man, man, man. Got him right. shook. <laughs> <laughs> now it is looking uh, for the advantage for the blue team actually, with Geisbeer stock tanking here on his first stock still. Oh my god, yeah. Well, let's go, Geisbeer. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> while both red team members are basically in kill percentage for Donkey Kong. Oh! Ooh! Oh, that was nasty. Ooh. I was afraid for Pika for life, but he got S1 with that. Man. Ooh. Why are you trying to grab someone that's grabbing? Kaisbeer, please. And yeah. he dies. Oh, well. That was still his first talk, but Th Danky Kang is losing his second one already. So now it's looking a bit more even. Still, yeah, yeah. they need to find a way to get into Geisbeer's zone if they want to uh, take those stocks more efficiently. And Geisbeer's just sitting there for five seconds in shield on the top platform. What are you doing, my man? But he gets the kill on S1. Geisbeer. Now they have to share the stock. Geisbeer hit mental block for like five seconds there. It's like yeah. Processing. 404 error. <laughs> Just straight up, he actually blue screamed. <laughs> here, here it goes again. He's just blue screaming on the top level. Ooh. Anyway, oh man, Denki can got a lot of percentage on himself there. All of a sudden, that's one put some work in there. The very safe Zare from the ledge. Very nice, the guys there. Oh, catches bigger for life, and, and he kills, dies because kills, of the yeah, improper yeah, yeah. DI. Shoot him. No, what are you doing? Why are you doing Why did you shoot him? Why are you like this? My god, you're gonna get dropped by BYOC, I swear to god. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's, He's dead. actually dead. <laughs> oh, and now it's a 1v1 situation. S1 oh, DK kidding, again. Oh. That is this. But Samus. this is a singles bread DK. That is true. Oh and now god. we are going to see it in full force. Heisbeer, he gave you the stick. Oh, now he grabs <laughs> you pummels in a bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, that pummel from DK just looks so rude. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> S1 is making this work. Mom Poss is creasing right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 oh wow! <laughs> and as I said, S1 with that crazy single speed oh. game. Showing his worth and Geisbeer must be kicking himself Rest right in peace, now. Polar Bear and the monkey. BYOC officially dropping Geisbeer. <laughs>